brought to you by Local Video Marketing. In association with Coach Chick's Mastermind Group and CoachChick.com. started today day one and day two here's your workout coming at you right now all right let's go ahead let's get your first workout done for days one and two all right here's it very simple you're gonna go four exercises you're gonna cycle through all four of these exercises now my suggestion is it's 45 seconds on and 15 off but you can choose and set your own interval 30 on 15 off 20 on 10 off 50 on 10 off you choose what you want to do but here's your four exercises you're going to cycle through all right every workout we do is going to have an upper body lower body and it's going to go ahead and have a cardiovascular exercise and this is no different here it's coming at you first exercise out of the gate is going to be overhead push presses I know you've seen me do them a lot but let me take you through how to get into the band very easily first of all you want to stand on the band make sure that you get your feet set on the band now to get into the band and get it up on your hands take the left hand put it right on the palm of your hand and bring it on up by setting it on the palm of your hand it's much more comfortable all right now bring your other hand in do the same thing and there you are thumbs should be through the band all right so you're ready to go push presses drop down drive straight up overhead back down if your resistance doesn't feel right you can always adjust a little bit to make sure it's equal on both sides overhead drop it down bring it back to your collarbone close set your hips and explode up over top push apart a little bit at the top just to set your shoulder blades when you're done drop it down take a rest front squats exercise two up on your shoulder notice how I bring it up I bring it drop my shoulder down I take my hand and place it onto my shoulder now it's sitting there it's a flat band it's gonna set there really well I drop my other shoulder through and I'm right there all right front squats are set band is up on my shoulders elbows up high and we're dropping into a front squat all right right there drop it on down make sure you get good depth push out against the band a little bit so your knees stay nice and locked out so you're not letting them collapse in front squats if you get out just drop out of it all right two ways you can do push or pull parts which is exercise three step through the band flip it up and you can go pull parts right there if you don't want to do that because the band is too heavy you can also go ahead just take a single band wrap it around your hand wrap it around your hand and you can go pull parts here as well the key is elbow straight trunk tight split your stance so your low back stays solid and let's go and really get after that mid back area and post your shoulder area that's exercise three your heart rate racer take your dynamic stabilizer if you don't have one no big deal don't worry about it all right go ahead if you do pop it on go above the knees you know we talk about always going above the knees we're going burpees now I'm gonna do burpees off the medicine ball you can do them off the floor you can do them off anything you want you know how to do burpees you choose I'm just gonna take the medicine ball to add a little bit of variety to it and, and not allow me to go as far down or as far low, as low as normal so I don't have to go all the way down huh reason being is that I can go faster and this is a heart rate racer so I want to go quicker so balls here set bang burpee we're moving pop those feet all the way back trunk tight all the way back notice my feet stay apart I don't let my feet come together I also make sure my feet are wide when I come up so that I clears my hips allows me to easily stand up all right burpees that's your fourth and final exercise get after it, guys you got two days to knock that workout out let's go get it done I'll be back with you shortly with your next workout see you soon
now? We thought it best to let you know why many hockey coaches will fail. One major reason can be a lack of clear focus. In other words, where to begin and what direction to go. Of course, some coaches lack a real hockey background or they fail to understand the challenges their players face out in the real game action. Pride also gets in the way. I mean, a coach can sometimes prefer to go it alone instead of seeking help. For sure, some coaches can feel overwhelmed or maybe over their heads with so much to know and do. Oh, here's a real doozy. I mean, a lot of coaches find themselves going down the drain from taking bad advice from the wrong people. Of course, some folks get into coaching for all the wrong reasons, and they are likely to experience just about everything we've mentioned to this point. No worry, however, because Coach Chick can help you with every single one of those challenges. Aha, uh -huh, because he's always had a knack for simplifying difficult tasks. Well, times are wasting, with hundreds of dollars worth of videos and other information already waiting for you. Join now, you will be glad you did.
Dennis Chigasolas, The Nature of Our Game, ranks with other high-level essays, authored by the likes of Gladwell, Percival, and Coyle. It's an in-depth study of our game, it's about the challenges players face in the heat of battle, and it's about the things that influence the way players need to train, both off and on the ice. Get it now, and be well armed, to answer almost any question that arises about our game. Kim Lucard, Hockey Mom RD, and today is the letter N, and I'm going to talk to you about noodles. Noodles are an excellent source of carbohydrates, B vitamins, which help your body convert food into energy, and two ounces dry or one cup cooked contains seven grams of protein, potassium, calcium, iron, magnesium, and phosphorus. Now, the nutrient content is going to vary based on the type of pasta you choose. There are many different types of pasta. You may use gluten-free pasta or a corn, rice, and quinoa pasta. There are many, many different varieties on the market. Today I'm going to help you determine the best time to use whole wheat versus plain or non-whole wheat noodles, as you see in my um, picture here. When I compared the food labels of these two noodles, a serving, which is two ounces dry or one cup cooked, contains about 200 calories, 7 grams of protein, and 40 to 45 grams of carbohydrates, which makes pasta a favorite food of many hockey players. A serving of whole wheat pasta contains more fiber, about 5 grams per serving versus 2 grams per serving of fiber of the plain pasta. When you're trying to decide whether to eat whole wheat pasta or plain pasta before practice or a game, it's important to pay attention to the time you will eat your pasta meal and the time your practice will begin. When you eat fiber too close to ice time, this can cause bloating and stomach cramping. I recommend that skaters choose a whole wheat pasta in the four to six hour window before ice time and any closer, I recommend the plain pasta. My 16-year-old son, who's a goalie, loves to have plain pasta in the morning for breakfast about one and a half hours before his Saturday morning practice. For more information on nutrition for youth ice hockey players, check out Eat, Skate, Win, 7 Steps for Your Youth Hockey Star to Eat Like a Champion, available on Amazon, and visit www.hockeymomrd.com. Until next time, happy skating! This has been Kim, Hockey Mom RD. is this go glide go and the players the players are racing for the puck the players are racing for the puck and we've got a pretty good combination here because we've got two big guns two mid guns two small guns so coaches you may want to pair your your players up with equal speed so that one player isn't always beating the other after they shoot the puck they come back into the line and switch sides just for the sake of switching sides so you guys do you understand how to do the drill everybody understand what to do okay Chris and Nolan you ready show me that ready position like this yeah good okay go glide go that's it keep going right on you guys ready go glide go accelerate accelerate 
Alex Kellen, you ready? Go! Glide! Go! That's it, keep going, keep going! Take the shot, good. And good shots, you guys, good shots. They've got time, it's a short period of time on task, but they're coming back pretty quickly and going again, so there's not, there's a short period of time on task, and then a short period of rest. So you could have, you could have all your players going one way, or you could have them on one side going that way, and then another group of players on this side going that way, so each player's taking a shot. Welcome to Talking Hockey with John and Howie. Here to bring you the latest on what's going on around the NHL. Howie, how you been? How was your Christmas? Not too bad. Just worked. That's pretty much it. Yep. Worked and slept. Work and slept. We had a pretty, pretty good much. Christmas. Did you enjoy the gift I sent you? I haven't had a chance to try it yet, <laughs> but... Uh, I'm I'm kind of afraid to even try it though. <laughs> Still, it it looks dangerous. Mm. <laughs> you take some it's classes. The sock slider. Huh? Yeah, sock slider. Sock slider. Yeah. It's a dangerous <laughs> contraption. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Howie, we have the new year coming, and with the new year comes the. Winter Classic between Boston and That's Chicago. Yep. Playing in and again teams. They'll be playing in Notre there. Dame Stadium in Indiana. Yeah. <clears throat> I wish they'd change it up though. They need to get different teams in there. It just seems like it's the same teams every year. Mm, I think they try to keep it to uh, well, how many Winter Classics have we had now? How long has it been since they've started oh, I it? You know. I don't even we know. We had a few. I, I remember the very first one, it snowed. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. But I don't think there's going to be snow on this one because uh, I know we're not forecasted with anything here. So mm. we would get hit with it before Chicago does. It's in Indiana. Well, we'd still get it before Indiana as well. Yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Chicago and Boston, Howie. Um, both of these teams, you know, Chicago's been kind of struggling all year. Yeah. Um, and Boston's, you know. Boston. Is Boston, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> They're trying to keep up with Buffalo right now. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I, I don't know what the problem is with Chicago. Um, I think it's just a fluke season. Yeah, but they cannot win well, the road. I said they, that, well, they I said that last year, though, too. <laughs> <laughs> did you? I guess you did, didn't you? Yeah, last year I said it was a fluke as well. Yeah. So I'm kind of looking forward to um, the Winter Classic. I always look forward to the outdoor games. I like seeing 
some outdoor hockey. Um, and then in February, I, I'm only looking forward to it only because I don't work either job. So it's a day off, and you get to sit home and watch an outdoor hockey game. Exactly. That's perfect. So for me, that's that's good. Yeah. That's a good thing. That's a good day. Yeah. And then, um, not long after that, in February, we have another stadium series. I I can't remember who it is right off. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure I don't remember who that is. Yeah, and then uh, we have um, the the All Star Game coming. This is when everything starts happening. All Star Game and the uh, trade deadline coming. So, yeah. Um, so we're gonna wrap it up here. It's. Um, Catch us on our regular weekly show over at thepucktrupture.com. Until then, we'll see you next time right here with Talking Hockey with John Howie. Be big. This program is brought to you by Local Video Marketing. In association with Chick's Mastermind Group and CoachChick.com.